guys welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a upper body workout and more specifically we are going to be working on our back this is going to be an exercise workout that you can go ahead and do at home or if you want to take it to the gym and throw in some extra weights or exercise equipment then you can always go ahead and do so that's what I love about these workouts you're able to take them anywhere which is great usually when I do back at the gym I really stick to the cable machine and just regular machines because I feel like there's not a lot that I can do with free weights or barbells, so I like to go ahead and throw in cables to go ahead and switch it up. But these exercises that I have for you guys today are something that I've been doing a lot in a lot of my upper body workout days and full body. And my upper body, especially my back, has never felt so strong. I feel like it looks very lean. I'm gonna go ahead and put a picture here. The first picture is a picture from a couple months ago, and the other picture is a picture from right after this workout that I recorded for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this workout. Remember, you can take this anywhere. You guys enjoyed this video, and if you're ready, then let's just go ahead and get right into the video. To start off this workout, you are going to be beginning with shoulder taps. Shoulder taps are where one hand touches the opposite shoulder, and you're going to be doing 15 reps on each side, so that is 30 total for three rounds. The key for this is to make sure that your hips sway to the left and to the right as little as possible, and it is easier if you have your feet at a wider hip stance. You wanna make sure that you're squeezing your core. Moving on to commanders, this is where you're going to start in a push-up position, keeping your feet in that same position that you were for the shoulder taps, and drop down to one elbow at a time. As you can see, I'm slightly angled. You wanna make sure that your shoulders are over your wrist though, even though this can be difficult. Again, same thing, making sure that you're keeping that butt down and your core nice and tight as possible with little body swaying motions as possible you're going to be doing 15 reps on each side for three rounds if 15 reps are too hard you can always do anywhere from 10 to 12 reps but again make sure you're keeping that core nice and tight and your shoulders are over your wrists next we're going to be getting into some burpees the way I do these is I do a full push-up where I allow myself to use my hips and my knees a little bit to help push myself off the ground. If you can do a regular full push-up, then always go ahead and do that. I went ahead and did three sets of 15 reps for this. You wanna make sure that you still jump at the top of your movement. I find that these are a little bit easier when you can't fully do push-ups yet, and they really target your triceps and that upper back very well, so it's a great exercise when you're wanting to work on your push-up form and your muscles to help with that, but you still can't fully do push-ups. When you do these, you also, also wanna make sure that your head is looking straight down or your eyes are looking forward. Never let your chin come towards your chest when you are doing these. Next, we're gonna be getting into a superset. This one is super easy yet super effective. We are going to be starting off with Renegade Rows. Usually you would do this with a dumbbell in each hand, but since this is an at-home workout, just raising your hands up Keeping your elbows nice and tight and close to your body is going to work very well. So go ahead and do 15 reps on each side. So 30 total. Again, keep those feet about hip width apart and keep your butt and your body from swaying as little as possible while keeping your core tight. And then you're going to go into 15 mountain climbers on each side directly after that movement with no rest in between. And that is gonna be one set and you are gonna perform three sets of those. And with these, you wanna make sure that your shoulders are over your wrists. As you can see, as I'm starting to get more tired, they are not directly over, which it is more difficult, but that is the proper form for this. And it's going to make sure that you're working all the correct muscles while doing this. To our next exercise, we are going to be doing Superman. This is gonna target those that lower back and those love handles. Just basically keep your feet and your hands off the ground and do a little tap and then come back up. I went ahead and did anywhere from 15 to 20 of these for three to four rounds. And then our burnout set is going to be two sets of push-ups. I believe for the first set I was able to get 15 in and then for my second set I was only able to get 10. If you can't do real push-ups, definitely give these a try. But the key is to not allow yourself to warm up. You want to keep that core as nice and tight as possible so you are warming as little as possible. Use your knees at the last minute to help you push up and make sure you take a break in between each set. Keep that neck neutral with your spine and make sure your shoulders are over your wrists. I hope you guys enjoyed this at home back workout and I will talk to you all in the next one.